Each year, NBC holds a live production of a famous Broadway musical. This year's was the Tony Award winning show, Hairspray. Hairspray. The show stars reprising his Broadway role, Harvey Firestein as Edna Turnblad, Jennifer Hudson as Motormouth Maybell, Ariana Grande as Penny Pingleton, Martin Short as Wilbur Turnblad, Derek Huff as Courtney Collins, Kristen Chenoweth as Velma Von Tussle, Dove Cameron as Amber Von Tussle, Garrett Clayton as Link Larkin, and newcomer Maddie Balio as Tracy Turnblad. Hairspray is known for its story about equality between races and that pinch of a love story in there as well. Set in Baltimore in 1962, Tracy Turnblad's dream is to dance on the Corny Collins show. Her dream becomes a reality when she earns a place on the show and becomes a celebrity overnight. Tracy's mother, Edna, encourages Tracy, along with her friends, to introduce her campaign to integrate the all-white Corny Collins show. A mother-daughter day when thin is in her life. The show's music is Tony Awarded. The two most iconic songs in the show are Good Morning Baltimore, Good morning, Baltimore. and You Can't Stop the Beat. The song Good Morning Baltimore is the opening number of the show and tells you a little bit about Tracy and her morning routine. The song You Can't Stop the Beat is the closing number of the show and the part where the Courtney Collins show officially becomes integrated. The song explains how no matter what you do, nothing is ever going to make them stop. Hairspray <laughs> Live used two songs that were written for the 2007 film of Hairspray. Ladies Choice, Ladies Choice. and Come So Far, Got So Far To Go. <laughs> However, the song The Big Dollhouse that was in the original Broadway show was not featured in the live production. My favorite song was You Can't Stop the Beat. My favorite song in the show was Run and Tell That. It was announced in November 2016 that Ricky Lake, who played Tracy in the 1988 movie, and Marissa Jarrett Winokur, who played Tracy in the original Broadway cast in 2002, would make an appearance in the live special and their characters would be workers at Mr. Pinky's Hefty Hideaway. Newcomer Maddie Balio made her debut as Tracy Turnblad. I know that you want what's best. Please. But mother, please give it a rest. Texas native Maddie is a 20-year-old college sophomore at Marymount Manhattan College who saw an ad on Facebook about auditions for the role and woke up at 3 a.m. on the morning of the audition and waited number 343 in line. I think Maddie did a fantastic job, and I look forward to seeing her in the future. All people can talk about is Jennifer Hudson's performance of I Know Where I've Been. Critics are saying how great she performed the song, and that she's the best person who performed it who ever played Motormouth Maybell. Critics are also saying how the powerful message behind the song was also noticed very well when she was singing it. The cast and crew of Hairspray say the show is coming at the right time because of all the race and equality problems going on currently in our country. Cast member Martin Short claims that the timing of the show is right because Hairspray is about acceptance and not having color barriers. I think the show happened at a right time because these things are happening today, but people just don't understand it. Since the show is live, anything can happen. The show did have some flaws, including Maddie's mic during Good Morning Baltimore. My mom tells me no, but my feet tell me no. Inside my heart. Maddie's lighting during Mama, I'm a Big Girl Now. And Ariana Grande taking a tumble during I Can Hear the Bells. Critics are calling Hairspray Live hands down the best live production NBC has put on since The Sound of Music back in 2013. NBC has been putting on these live productions for four years now and they just keep getting better and better every year. But this one in particular was definitely the best because of its great powerful message, its great cast, and all the great songs that just make you want to get up and dance. 
You can look forward to next year's show, Bye Bye Birdie Live, in 2017. For Monthly Rewind Season 21, I'm Alexa Muter. Do you like seeing Harvey Firestein again as Edna Turnblad? Yes! Why? Because I think she did a great, great job. <laughs> oh, the quiet signs up. What? <laughs> What was your favorite, favorite song on the show, Belle? Um, 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 uh, Last Christmas. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done. Can you start singing that, please? Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. 